Hey, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. In a previous video, I talked about uh, making everything modular on my Creality CR10S. And I just kind of wanted to show a little show and tell on that. So I have four hot ends set up. I not, I'm waiting for another M3 modular extra long uh, thermistor on a JST to come in from China. I have three of them. I have another uh, short ones, but the short ones break really easy. These are really nice. And I'll put a, a link down below for these. As you can see, these are like standard CR10s. This is the original one that came with the printer. And I'm going to get a bigger tip for this, or a bunch of different tips. So this will be switched out. I'm going to put this as a 0.6. And this is a standard a new one that I got that it's uh, brand new and shiny. So I use this a lot for the PLA. Uh, this is a 0.4. As you can see, it's got a... Um, the heater block is modular and the thermistor on there also. And then all, all of them have these silicone heads or socks on them, they call them. And this is a uh, Micro Swiss, a flexible, friendly hot end. So it's got a PTF lining in here and it's good up to 300 degrees C. And it's got the, uh, <clears throat> what it, the, it's not stainless steel, it's some kind of other uh, like nickel coated brass nozzle that's very good for uh, anything. Uh, for soft material, I could probably put a regular um, brass end on there. It wouldn't be a big deal. And I'm still, uh, I got to make this more modular. This has got the log cable. I'm going to cut it down to look like this. And I like keeping lengths to make everything easy. And this is the Oz Fang version 2. This is the 40 millimeter version. And I have a, uh, these are 40 millimeter Noctua fans. This is the uh, 40 by 10. I have a 20 also. Uh, I might try that for like more uh, models with more overhangs, which these are easy to switch out because I have these all on JSTs uh, to switch out. And like you said, like here's the, the hot end is on this special battery clip. Uh, this is yellow and blue coming from there. I think that's the hottest point. So this always goes to the hot end fan. So you can see it follow it down to there. And it gets kind of confusing because the Noctua's are yellow and blue also. But I know uh, red and black coming from the control box goes to the part cooling fan. And then uh, what else? Okay, we have the thermistor, extra long. I have the short ones I talked about earlier. I kept breaking them. I don't know if it was a bad adhesive they put on them, but it, didn't, it couldn't handle a lot of torque. And that's why, and they were also very short. They're like maybe a third the size. So like, like now, I, I just took out these little um, M3s to hold this modular fang in. I really like this thing. It's impressive because I've been through a few of these. And then I've said, I think in the previous video I talked about, I designed this uh, wire uh, tensioner. Or not tensioner. It's, uh, what do they call these? This prevents a wire from bending back and forth. It keeps it a uh, wire strain relief, that is. And then I kind of designed it over it so it doesn't uh, screw with the PTFE tube and going in. And then with those two little uh, M3s out, this just pops off. Really easy. I can set it to the side like that. And since I have it on the uh, badge hanger, I don't have to worry about it pulling the wires or anything like that. So then I have full access to my hot end now. And with this particular uh, fang, this plate is permanently affixed uh, to the carriage here. And it, it's, uh, I mean, very securely, uh, securely uh, fitted. And I don't think you can see behind there. If I can, let me if I can get this off. I'm doing this all one-handed. And do I have the right size? Yes. So I can pull this off real quick. Oh, no, I can't. That's the wrong size. I'll be back in a second. Let me grab the right tool. See, I'm back. Um, I just had to get the right tool. And let's see. I'm doing all this one-handed, so it's probably going to make a mess. I'm not going to switch this out because I got, I got filament in it right now. I'm going to start another print soon. But as you can see, this is all hanging up right now. Let's try not to drop those screws out. Oops, one fell out. I'll put it back together. This plate doesn't affect uh, the uh, position of the Y at all. As you can see, these, um, is that in focus? The uh, original um, screw holes on the plate are flush with this. It may be a half a millimeter off or something like that. And it actually has a little bit of space behind it. And then on this, you can see how these just fix in. And uh, I'll, this is another guy that did a remix on the Fang. So you can see this thing's all modular. All these different pieces are all bolted together with M3s and nuts. Except for my uh, down and dirty uh, steering relief. That's got, it's put together with wire ties. 
but it works awesome, as you can see. And uh, this guy designed this this little interior modular um, housing for uh, design for the regular um, uh, CR10 um, hot end or the uh, Swiss Micro. And it's got little fa uh, wings on the edge, you see there? So it doesn't blow air necessarily down or anything, so it kind of ventilates it better. So I can easily just throw up like, um, you know, if I took the uh, PTFE out of that, I could take this one, throw that in, hook up the thermistor and the uh, power thing, and I'm ready to go. I might do some bed leveling. Uh, I've noticed it's off a little bit. You're not going to crash the bed. These are all pretty much the same size. They, uh, if you look at them, they're you know very much the same uh, geometry or size between them. This is a little bit slightly different shape. These are rounder around the uh, cooling block right here. So I kind of wanted to show that off. And like I said, I'll put links to these certain pieces. They make all different um, on this thing, uh, Thingiverse. I'll give the address to the thing. Uh, like I said, that they have different fans. They have ones with the blowers you want it. They have even one that uses the um, that little 40 millimeter uh, blower fan that uh, is stock with the CR10. I just like these. I like how quiet these are. Like I've done uh, the Pet Fang with a 50 millimeter blower, and that puts out a lot of air, and it is very noisy comparatively. These put out no noise whatsoever. And I'm going to actually put this up too. Hopefully, when I put this video up, this will be. I'll put a thing for this under my. Um, Thing of my Thingiverse uh, designer page, which has very few things on it. I'm very much a beginner. Uh, this is a something I just put together on Tinkercad. I actually took a model of this, put it in Tinkercad, and kind of carved out between this block and designed this. This is really down and dirty. It's, it fits good. It works for what it does. Not very pretty. It's uh, printed in uh, black. Oh, no, printed in white ABS with black ties. Uh, just I just had some old ABS laying around from uh, my printer bot. That's still. In pieces. Actually, it's going to be coming together soon. It's, uh, you've ever seen in my other previous videos, it always seems like it's put together. It's all rewired. I'm thinking about putting um, stepper dampers in it and kind of keeping it for uh, old time's sake. It is a very well built printer. Um, but you can see it's got the five millimeter lead screws on it. So it's not as accurate as one of these with the eight millimeter screws. I mean, they're just they're way much huge compared to those. So uh, that is it for this little update. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.